I'm gonna try and walk you through the Wayfair shit in under two minutes and 20 seconds. First, we're gonna go to Explore. We're gonna go here. Oh, fuck you, fucking Jack. Twitter, fucking for me, transgender sports illustrated model. You think that's the main thing I care about, you fucking idiot? So we're gonna go to Trending here. Wayfair, 176,000 people talking about it. What are they talking about? They're talking about this. Before we go there, here's a history for Wayfair from last year they had an issue where employees planned Wednesday walkout after learning they are making beds for migrant detention centers. We know where most of the kids who get trafficked are found. They're found in the detention centers. So that is a red flag right there, bloody glove, whatever you want to call it. Darian found this. See that cabinet? Keep a note of that. Samaya cabinet. $13,000 for that cabinet. What these people do, I'll tell you in a second. Samaya is a girl that actually went missing not too long ago, just months ago. And in Ohio, what they do is when they're selling these children on these sites, they hide it and they make astronomical prices for cheap goods and they change the names exactly like you're seeing here. Same cabinet, different name, different price. How's that possible? Yuritsa storage cabinet. Yuritsa is also someone, as she dug, 16 year old girl who went missing on June 10th, 2020. Uh, this could be coincidence, but uh, seems a little odd. Annabelle Wilson went missing May 13th, 2020. She's 14 years old. And we have a cabinet here called Annabelle 5, $10,899 for what appears to be a shitty cabinet. Same cabinet as the first two, Kyla, different name, different price. And when we dig here, Kyla went missing January 25th, 2020 in Ohio, which was the same as the first one. Now we will go to Explore. We did that. We'll go to Wayfair. We got about a minute left. So if we go to Wayfair here, you can see them on Wayfair's website. I've been squatting on this page for two and a half hours trying to catch the price changes, and I just caught it. So I'm not refreshing or doing anything with this. First pillow. Forget cabinets. It's a fucking pillow for $10,000. Really? And guess who it's by? Ellen DeGeneres. None other. So we go here. Ellen's price is still the same. She's holding strong at $10,000. This is probably still a kid. Now we go to the other ones, though. We're going to watch these prices drop right before our eyes. $10,000. Twitter went nuts. They started trending. Now the pillow's $47. This is what Anons do. And if you go to the next one here, $10,000, now this one's $46.99. Go to the next one here, the Gianna pillow, this one's $10,000, price dropped to $46.99. This is basically all dropping because people are exposing them. These people